Are you serious? Are you serious? We have a prophecy alert. We have a prophecy alert. Uh, I just did a video earlier today about the United States of America wants to force this peace agreement, and the Obama administration wants it done this year, period, by the end of 2014, no later. Well, there's some breaking news coming out of the Middle East right now. The Middle East peace mediators have decided to meet in Munich, Germany. I repeat, Middle East peace mediators are going to meet in Munich, Germany. After the U.S. peace envoy spills the beans on possible framework agreement between Israel and the Palestinians, the world's top diplomats are going to meet in, uh, to try to bid to give John Kerry his plan a push of support. Top officials from the United Nations, the United States, Russia, the European Union will all meet on Saturday to discuss how they can help U.S. Secretary of State John F. Kerry to drive for a Middle East peace deal, according to the EU. Now, the meeting of the so-called Quartet of Middle East Peace Mediators will be held in Munich on the sidelines of the annual security conference there. EU Foreign Policy Chief Catherine Ashton said she would chair the meeting with John Kerry, United Nations Secretary General Ben Kai Moon, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Larvo, and the Quartet Envoy Tony Blair. I told you he's going to play a major role in my book. I wrote it. He plays a major role in Jerusalem Jihad in my book. Tony Blair, the former British Prime Minister, will be there. This meeting takes place in a moment when difficult and bold decisions need to be made. The dividends of peace for Israel and the Palestinians are enormous, according to Ashton. Folks, in my book, uh, listen to what I'm telling you. They're going to force this deal. They're actually taking this deal out of Israel and the Palestinians' hands. They've let them negotiate, but to be honest, it's not their deal. This covenant with many is not Israel's deal. It's not the deal they wanted. It's not the deal they're pushing for. It's not exactly what the Palestinians want either, because they would rather just have no Israelis at all. Uh, they would like to have the entire uh, Holy Lands. But it is the deal being pushed. You know, in, in the Bible, when it tells you about it, in, in the prophecy in Daniel 9.27, it tells you that he, uh, that he will make a covenant with many. It, he will confirm this covenant with many. And that means it's more than one nation. Now you're hearing about this quartet, United Nations, United States, Russia, and the European Union. And then I'm reading a list of these guys that's going to be here. Now, in my book, Just Come Out, Just Got Here, two, three days ago. We're shipping them right now. We got people, my son's back there right now and my niece, they're, they're packaging them, getting them out as well as Bibles to people that's requested new Bibles. But in my new book, Jerusalem Jihad, look, and, and this book is based on current world events, uh, historical accounts, Bible prophecy, and an end time apocalyptic scenario. Now, on the cover we've got there, here's the key players. John F. Kerry, Barack Obama, Benjamin Netanyahu, Russia's Vladimir Putin, and Jordan's King Abdullah. But on the back, we wrote this in because, and we did a lot of research, as well as allowed the Spirit of the Lord lead us in this book. But on the back, uh, it says, you know, nation arise against nation. But there you see some other key players. Prince William, Pope Francis I, Tony Blair, Iran's new president, Hassan Rouhani, Iran's Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, Hillary Rodham Clinton, and one other mysterious guy that you'll have to find out. He's one of the characters in the book. So this, this is going to be a powerful, powerful book. I want you to understand it's you can only find it at my website, www.publicly.com.
www.publicbeatprophecy.com. That's www.publicbeatprophecy.com. Those of you who already got a copy of the Mark of the Beast RFID, this is the sequel to it. This is the sequel, Jerusalem Jihad. And I'm bringing it up because it's very important. And what's amazing, the only reason I'm going to bring this up right now is because Tony Blair, and I, I, one person said to me, why are you putting Tony Blair in there? He's old news. He's done. I said, no, he's not done. You need, to, you need to understand, not only is he involved in this peace deal agreement as one of the quartet, but he plays a major role in helping form the one world religion. I'm not going to say no more. You need, uh, that's all I'm going to say. But be praying, folks. We're living in the end times, and it's coming faster than even I can think. I, I can't even, I don't even know. It's coming very quick. The Lord's coming soon for his bride. Are you saved?